Good morning, journalism students. Here's our first of two updates this week. As you know, we're on the two times per week per class schedule that was set up last week. So in keeping with that, for our class, every Wednesday and every Friday, I'll post updates because that was what the administration and staff agreed upon as being when we would meet. So you're meeting with first, second, and third on Monday and Thursday, and four, five, and six on Wednesday and Friday. And here is our Wednesday update. First of all, speaking of the updates, the last update that we had, seven people liked. So let's start with the shout outs. Thank you, Brianna. Thank you, Esmeralda. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Luz. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, Iskali. One vote, but the vote was to keep the shout out, so there was the shout out. Now, this week, we're going to do a couple things differently. We aren't getting anyone who's submitting ideas or any kind of a recording related to updating the news, um, although that's what in the last several updates I had asked that you consider doing while you are at home. So for this week's weekly issue, this is what we're going to do. Look at that. There's a link and there's a couple of questions. It's always been a goal that we have yet to realize to set up our own Bravo podcast. Maybe that's something that we can do in the future, but for now, I'd like you to listen to an episode of a podcast. So if you click on this link, it'll take you here. This is the Freakonomics podcast, possibly the best of all the podcasts. Every one of their episodes has a specific link. If you go to their archive, you can find hundreds of episodes. And what I like about their episodes is you can play and listen to it, which is what I hope you will do. And then you've got the transcript. So you can follow along with every single word said. And in a, in a real worry, in a real sense, they're reading to you what is on here. All of the orange links, all the orange text, I should say, are links. And tells you who these people are that are speaking, right? Um, and that's really important, right? Fake news. Credibility is key to derailing fake news, right? So these are the people who are part of that. And you see that Tom Gilovich is a professor at Cornell. For those of you who are um, aware that you know that Cornell is one of the Ivy League universities, probably a guy who's got a lot of credibility, right? And so they're going to discuss certain things. One of the main things they're going to discuss is something called the headwinds, tailwinds asymmetry. And this is what's important for the selection of this particular podcast, which as you remember from the top is called Why Is My Life So Hard? So the headwinds tailwinds asymmetry is a study that both of these researchers put together. If you click on the link, you can get their actual paper. So this is what a, um, a paper looks like, right? For first, you get the abstract. Many of you know because you've done research projects. First, you get the abstracts, and then you can look at the rest of the paper. And it was published in the Journal of Personal um, Psychology, Personal Social Science Psychology. Actually, in fact, I'm not even sure if that's the actual title of it, but that's the abbreviation. So there is the um, abstract, right? What is the headwinds, tailwinds asymmetry? So if you've got the wind coming at you, at your face, it's called the headwind. It's pushing against you, right? If you've got the wind at your back and it's pushing you forward, that's called a tailwind. Headwind coming at you, tailwind pushing you forward. Asymmetry, the word A is the root word for without. Symmetry means balance, right? Without balance. 
I want you to listen to the podcast where they explain what this is and how what that is informs why we sometimes think our lives are harder than they are. So, these are the questions. How does the headwinds, tailwinds, asymmetry affect people and their outlooks on life? According to the podcast, how can gratitude, the act of being thankful, affect people's lives? And what are some of the elements and aspects of, our, of your life that you're most grateful for? Please post your answers and um, comments here. Additionally, apart from that, I'm going to ask you if you need, sometimes we need some distraction. <clears throat> and for our class, um, you really all haven't done that much. I mean, since you've gone, I mean, only a few of you have even checked in with me. I found an online puzzle. I'm not going to tell you what it looks like, but this is a clue. Delicioso postre. So once you start, it'll start timing you. And let's see how, how you do with all of these people who have done it. I'll, I'll link that into our update. As usual, please hit like so that I know who saw it. We have a class of 15 people, or excuse me, 16 people, and only seven people bother on a regular basis. To hit the like button to, to show that you saw this and considered it. If you have any questions, please let me know. As usual, I will also close with stay safe, stay healthy, and stay creative. Till next time.